going to do it. I'm going to install the balance shaft kit today. Possibly get the uh, oil pump rebuilt. Not really rebuilt. I just want to take it apart make sure it's all good before I put it, put it on this uh, fresh block that we've prepared. And uh, what else? Yeah, and uh, I've also got the pickup tube. So I can actually, if I do all of that, I can throw the oil pan on it and pretty much the short block is complete all we'll need to do is build a head and throw the head on man i can't wait it's gonna be epic we'll see you in a minute front case with the oil pump we're gonna do a balance shaft delete kit today and possibly rebuild the or not really rebuild but check out the oil pump make sure it's good to go uh, so we can get this uh, short block finished up that way we can get this engine dropped in the DSM what are you thinking these I think we need to get it going that's what I think. You need to get it going, huh? So. so I've seen a lot of videos on it and there's a lot of research on it. So I've done a lot of research on it. This one's really easy. We're just going to take this bolt off, pull that off, even the gear. That's all gone. And then there's a cap that goes there to keep it from leaking. Yeah. And then on this one, um, what I want to try to do, I don't know if it's, I, I've never seen anybody do it while they're doing the kit. But I'm taking the oil pump apart anyway because I want to. So I'm curious if I can keep from having to take this off to get to that bolt to take the shaft off. If I can do it through the oil pump. So that's what we're gonna. That's what we're gonna try out. So. Yeah. This is a little bushing right there. I mean, I ain't talking about a gun either. So, we'll pop this gasket out and pop that rubber grommet in. But I want to get it apart and clean it real good first before I do all the seals. So, is that all it is? Is a rubber block off? On that one, yeah. This one's a little bit more complicated because. It's the oil pump. But this is why we're not doing a how-to on the car. We're documenting. Because we're going to be real with everybody. This is my our first time doing this on this car. So. You need a pry bar or something? No, I also don't remember how that came apart. But what I want to do is right here. You got your pickup tube with you? Yeah, it's in the car. We won't be able to do all that today. We don't have a gasket for the front cover.
not remember if this needs to come off or not. I don't feel like it does. They're like a major problem. can be done, sir. You need that gear? Hmm? Oh yeah, that's your old pump. Well, it looked like it just fed this one for that shaft. Oh yeah, it's your old pump, so. You don't feed nothing, boy. That's, that's your pump. Yeah. That's your pump right there, big dog. It's pretty simple. And Pretty every... simple design. Yeah, it's not ate up. What you're looking for is like on either side, make sure it's not damaged or gouged. It looks good. There's a little blemish there, but I don't think that's, yeah, it passes the fingernail test. It's not really anything crazy on, it. on, the, on the teeth. You don't see anything crazy. So, and what you really want to look at is the bearings here where, where, where it rides, the little journals. See if those are gouged up because that's what causes oil pump failure. As if like a bearing material or something, some kind of debris gets in the oil and it gets in here. This is what causes the oil pump to fail. You know what I'm saying, Dave? Yeah. Where it rides. So, it's actually pretty good. Well, that's good then. If it's good. Right there would be all gouged up if it had failed. So really cool. Is there not a gasket between that? Mm -mm. No need. It's all sitting in oil. Oh yeah. So yeah, no need, man. No need for that. It's a good thing, huh? It's one less gasket we gotta buy. So we're gonna take the shaft off. Need the gear, but we don't need the shaft. The shaft can go. You can also check in here because this is where the journal journal rides. This is all this is all oil fed. Want to make sure there's no gouges inside. Because anytime you have like too much clearance or anything like that, that's when you're gonna lose oil pressure. You don't see any crazy teeth. So, yeah. You don't see any crazy like gouging. Yeah, it looks fine. Any damage, so it's actually really good. So we're gonna run that. We're gonna run it. I want to show that it can be done. You know, you can do a stock rebuild, and it'll get you by. You can get away with it. These like, what is the name? That's your favorite. Artist. What's her name? Chanel West Coast? It's on ridiculousness. Yeah, I know who she is. She laughs that, like a dolphin. With that ridiculous laugh. Alright. Here's the kit. I got this off of STM's website. Here's the three bearings that you need. You don't necessarily need them, but it's good assurance to have them because you can use the old ones. Like we'll show you when we knock them out. You can use them, but you're going to risk them being loose because you just you may knock some material off you know what I'm saying when you knock them out so if you go back in here with some fresh ones uh, you're sure you'll be good so got those and that was it for that and then it's real simple the kit is real simple you've got that plug I was telling you all about and then uh, and then the little shaft that you need to replace 
um, that one balance shaft that's, that drives off of the uh, oil pump. Because <coughs> you need that gear in order to net create pressure. You need this gear here, so you've got to have something for it to bolt into and hold in place. So that's why they have this little shaft. And that's actually a Mitsubishi part. This, and I'm pretty sure the cap is a Mitsubishi part. Because on the Mirages, they had this. They didn't have balance shafts. So it's actually pretty cool. That's what I like about, about Mitsubishi is they like have some of their own performance stuff. You know what I'm saying? So that's what we're about to do. Pop that gasket out right there. Gotta be careful. Because it is aluminum. That's gone. Bye bye. Did you kill it? And this one here for the crankshaft. You don't have to if you don't have one to replace it. If you're just doing the, if you're just doing the delete kit, but if you have it off, you might as well. All right? What do you always say, Beach? Might as well if you got it off. Might as well. Look at that oil pump on SB. I'm all about putting new new stuff on there. I'm all about it. Why we? If you're rebuilding it, you might as well. Could use silicone or JV Well. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Whatever works best for you. Is that a little overkill? The more leverage, the better. So I would say. This thing still looks pretty good, though. Yeah, it's not bad. This one's banged up, though. This is for the oil pump. That one's got to be replaced. Thing is the kit didn't come with one, so we'll have to get us a different one. We we'll have to get overnight parts from Japan. This looks a little banged up. Don't it? Looks a little banged up. But it'll make it. All right, unfortunately all we can do today is clean this up as far as the front cover goes, clean it up, get it ready. I can put this cap back in. I don't have this gasket or this gasket. Actually, I may have that one, I'll have to look, but I'm definitely not gonna have the oil pump one. And uh, if I do, that'd be cool, because then I can go ahead and get this back together. But we'll have to see on that, so. All right, so we're going to take the shaft, that stubby shaft that we ordered with the kit. We're going to take the, the gear that's for the balance shaft. You're going to put it on like this. Because you got your alignment dot there. It's going to face up. It's going to go in here like this. So you're going to put that on with your bolt. Tighten it down. Let's just 
good to go. We'll finish this up once we get the, so I can't put this together yet just because we don't have the gasket for the oil pump. I wasn't ready, so we'll have to get parts and then we can finish this up. All right, so in the meantime, there's no gasket here, so we can, we can actually install that stubby shaft with the gear that we wanted. And as you can see, you need to install it dot to dot. Now that's only because of the timing of the balance shaft. So you don't actually have to do that for this after the balance shaft has been deleted. But it's just something I like to do. My OCD will give me if I don't. So that's what you got to do. And then we're going to have to go ahead and install this housing back. Like so. So we're back together and then I'm going to wait on this gasket because if not we'll get some wool through there. So. Beautiful. All right, let's get started. No, no, 32. That might be perfect, we'll see. Yeah, very uncommon. So uncommon we have one. Right over on the table. No, this is a special tool. This right here is a 30 millimeter impact saw. It's actually a special tool, believe it or not. You gotta dig that thing out. You gotta dig nothing. Hmm. Hmm. One of them out. He done went fishing. One of them. You want me to stop this or keep going? Keep going. We're gonna do the next one. I just figured you put the socket back in there. No, this one's smaller down here. And they say for sure this works on this one. Yep. All right. 
Is there only two? It's only two. They give you three in the kit, but that's it's really just a balance shaft bearing kit that you get from Mitsubishi or whatever. But you don't really need it because this one doesn't have a hole in it. You want to come show them? This one don't have a. This one doesn't actually have a hole in it. The way the oil is supplied is through the shaft itself. The oil actually, it's a hollow shaft, so the oil actually goes through the shaft and feeds the oil that way, so we don't need to do that. Because the reason we're doing this is we're taking this where it's old and we're gonna flip it around and block it. But I'm gonna use new ones, that way we don't risk it. I'm just gonna use new ones and uh, flip it around and block the oil so that we don't lose oil pressure because we took the shafts out. Yeah. So all the oil will just run back into the pan. And the engine wouldn't get any oil pressure. Is it moving? Almost in there. All right, I'm good. Let's get this next one. Hey, that, hey, look at how that fits. Hit the camera, man. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. So that was it for the uh, install on the balance shaft delete kit. Um, basically it's cut and dry. No, I'm not showing how to's right now because this this build of this current talent and this engine, of course, I don't like to show how to's because it's my first time doing all of this on this particular engine, on this particular vehicle. Obviously I've done a lot of things over my years as a master mechanic but this is something different you know this is um this is you know an outside of a professional professional shop this is uh performance you know this is aftermarket so it's just things that i haven't done so i don't like to show how to's on things that i haven't done specifically so after a few of these installs of course i'll do a how to um i think that's how it should be done so it was just really easy we had to install the stubby shaft i inspected the oil pump to make sure that it was good to go before i wasted my time installing the stubby shaft they replaced the half shaft um, obviously we pulled both half shafts out and then we installed the bearings that you you seen just then um what you can do if you don't want to buy the bearing kit, which is relatively cheap, but if you don't want to do that, you can actually take the bearings out. It's a little bit more risky because you can damage them and then you'll have to order some bearings anyway. But you can take the bearings out that are already in there and flip them around. And all, all you're trying to do is block off the oil port for the uh, for the balance shafts. That's all you're trying to do. So. Uh, Hopefully you got a little bit of maybe some entertainment maybe a little bit of information out of this video But really it's just documenting the process. That's what I want to do on this build. So all the videos uh, pertain to the talent It's just I'm just trying to document the build so we can go back and look on it later um, You know, it's just one of those things. that's gonna be really cool once we get it all It's all said and done So uh, thanks for checking this video out and there's gonna be plenty more to come. I actually have a whole I have a whole file full of videos that are ready to be released. They're old. This video is actually pretty old and it's just now um, being uploaded because the internet here at my house is not the greatest. Um, usually I can, used to, I could upload overnight. I would go to sleep, start the upload on YouTube and then it would be uploaded by the morning, but just barely. But now it'll only do 20%. So I've actually found a way around that. 
I've got me an external solid state drive and I upload the videos elsewhere and um, it's working out really well so no more excuses I'm gonna put out as many videos as I can a week until we get caught up and then you know it'll go from there but I really want to get caught up that way you guys can know what's going on so uh, be on the lookout for all those and don't forget our podcast the seamless garage podcast um, we're gonna be doing some updates on that as well and kind of changing the format on that podcast and uh, you know, hit us up on our, all our social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all of that. But uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next one. Peace out.